Hello and welcome to another episode of Hollywood Wargaming. And I'm gonna go ahead and start off this video by giving you a little bump to the mic. And that's a cheers to all you Legion players out there for finishing up my review for all the clone faction units. Now, that's not that big of an accomplishment because the clones are still super new and do not have that many units announced. And really, we do have the Arc Troopers and Padme around the corner, but I can't review them until we have all of the cards revealed. But nevertheless, the content must flow. And I'm actually tuning in right now to respond to a nice YouTube comment left by Bluecraft Entertainment, who asks what I would like to see in Star Wars Legion in the future. And, oh boy, if you knew me in real life, asking for my opinion on anything is opening up an entire can of worms. So, of course, I'm going to make a video on it. I think content like this might be uh, uh, filed under the filler content portfolio, but at the same time, I think it makes for great fun videos, and these sort of think tank videos are a lot of fun to do. They also just don't require that much effort on my part. I don't need to constantly brainstorm metas and thing of the sort, so I'm very, very happy to do this. But what do I want to see show up in Star Wars Legion? Now, as many of you know, I am a Republic player, so I'm going to be a little bit biased here, and I'm going to be leaning towards the Republic faction. But at the same time, they also don't have as many units as other factions, and I think some of my want list items are going to be things that are going to show up in the future. But let's dive right in, and the first thing I want is Commander Cody, and I want him as soon as possible. Commander Cody is one of my favorite clones. I love the 212th Battalion, and more than anything right now, I want to be able to use that Everland Sunset from Games Workshop Citadel Paints to paint a clone commander. As you know, for the Phase 1 Troopers, there are four rank insignia colors, green being sergeants, blue being lieutenants, red being captains, and the yellowish slash gold being commanders. And let me tell you that Averland Sunset looks so, so good on the Clone Troopers. I've used it for accents on my Bark Speeder so far. I'm going to use it for accents on my Saber Tank when I do inevitably buy one. And I really, really want that Clone Commander model. Be it through a sort of upgrade package like the Rebel Officer or the Imperial Officer or through Commander Cody. But at the same time, I also want more commanders for the clones in general, and I want a hardcore commander that focuses solely on boosting your army. Cody was never that much of a fighter, and I think his rules are going to represent more of a tactical commander. And I'm very excited to see something like that. Rex is fantastic, but he's kind of in that zone where he's halfway between being a brawly commander and a tactical commander, and I would like one that commits fully to the other side. Especially if he's going to be in that 90 point range like Rex. And what kind of keywords would I want from a commander like Cody? Well, I'm thinking coordinate for clones. I really, really want to see some coordination in this army. I think that keyword is really going to benefit us. It's going to let us use more tactics like uh, aggressive tactics. And I think it's going to benefit our army in a way that's going to be a lot of subtle pushes to make our generic troops better which I think is what we need from a commander because clones already do have some of the best infantry in the game and having a commander that just gives them a little more oomph be it durability or offense is going to be a great factor of synergy. That being said, I hope he gets a special rule where he does extra damage against giant lizard creatures. Dewbacks, beware. After that, I'm going to go ahead and give one to the Trade Federation even though they're my mortal enemies and I'm going to say I want to see Django Fett on the table. Uh, partly because I really, really want to build that model, and I think it's going to be a lot easier to paint than Boba. But also because the Trade Federation really needs cheap characters. While I like Dooku and Grievous, they are very expensive, and they play that kind of Smash Captain role, where I think the Trade Federation needs a little more subtlety to those options. And I think Jango Fett is the man to do it. I'm kind of surprised Cad Bane came out before him, although Cad Bane is definitely a welcome addition. I think Jango Fett is definitely going to get the Gunslinger ability, and he's going to have some nifty upgrades a la Boba Fett, and maybe even match the Arc Troopers with some of their equipment. Also, I really just want to get something off my chest while we're on the topic of Jango Fett. It's been bugging me since Episode 2 came out when I was like 12, but why does Boba Fett's rocket backpack get destroyed in episode 2 
when the episode two, the new backpack that Django Fett has, the one with the stubby tip, survives in it. Did Lucasfilms like not realize that that was the carryover jetpack and they actually used the wrong one in the wrong scene? I'm sure Dave Filoni has found a sort of retcon patch to that, but someone please explain it in the comments below. But while we're on the topic of Trade Federation, next I'm going to say let's get some Magna Guard. The Magna Guard are huge. They are some of the coolest droids out there and they definitely deserve to be represented in the game. They're very much canon and I would very much like to see what the droids can do with a burly hardcore melee unit like that. I'm thinking Red Defense Dice, Guardian 1, and a potent melee attack pool. Maybe even with some stun abilities in there. Now, in that same vein, I kind of want to see the Republic counterpart, which is the Senate Guards. Now, you don't see these guys much in the movies, but I remember having an action figure of them when I was a kid. They are very cool. They're basically kind of like the Imperial Guards that guard the Emperor's Throne Room, but they're blue. They have that nice royal blue color to them. And they have this sort of Roman helmet that has the uh, uh, open Spartan faceplate. And then this like double crested feather helmet. These guys aren't as high on my priority list because honestly they're not going to look as good fighting alongside clones. But if you have a course on guard faction, like if you painted them like Commander Fox and those red and white uh, Senate guards, it's going to be a cool mashup to have these guys in there. And I think they would be a good foil to release alongside the Magna Guards, because they both have that sort of staff fighting, melee, bodyguard kind of stature to them. But before we see those guys, I would really, really like to see Commander Bakara and Republic Marines. Now, if you don't know, the Republic Marines are the guys who shoot Kai Adamundi in the butt in Episode 3 when they had issued Order 66. And Bakara has that sort of unique fatigue to him that slightly resembles an ARF trooper, while the other Republic Marines around him have that sort of snow trooper prototype armor that has a beautiful royal purplish red color to it. I really, really want to paint those models, and I think they could have some very cool rules on the tabletop because they just seem like badasses. And really when you brainstorm for the future of Legion and the long, long term, and you look at the clone faction, I think the only three options I can foresee is ARF Troopers on foot, which you see on Kashyyyk, the Republic Marines, and maybe recruits from the Clone Wars series. So of those three options, I definitely think our third troop choice is going to end up being the Republic Marines, and boy, I cannot wait for that to happen. I have no idea exactly what the rules would be, but I have a feeling they would be either very hardy or very, very tenacious in combat. But again, let's bounce back to the CIS, and I really want to see the dwarf spider droids. Now, these guys just kind of make sense in the game, and I think they're going to be very, very cool models to see on the table. Don't get them confused with the big spider droids on Geonosis. The dwarf ones are the ones with those little bulb heads. They kind of have this cute little face with two eyes and the, the cannon being their nose. They're a bit funny looking, but I think they're going to fit into the scale of Legion perfectly, and I think you're going to see them show up. And I think these guys are going to have a flat out armor ability, maybe red dice, and I can see their main cannon having like impact and critical. They'd probably show up in the support category and be a decent bang for your buck providing some much-needed backbone that the droid army needs with its otherwise flimsy forces. But now we're going to start pressing into the territory of things that I think might not show up in the future of Legion, but I still want to see. First of all, I really, really want to see Viceroy Gunray as a commander for the Trade Federation. I mean, he's the real OG, homie. He was there from the beginning. The guy blockaded Naboo. He was the first one to go out there and, and maybe stupidly and blindly, but followed the orders of Sidious and became the poster boy of the Trade Federation. I also just really want to quote him and say that false moves in Legion are perfectly legal when you make those kind of mistakes in casual games. What would he do? I don't exactly know. But again, I think he would be a nice, cheap commander option for the CIS, which is something, again, that they really, really need. And honestly, I could see gun race showing up in the game, but with the announcement of things like vital assets, I'm a little worried that he's not going to show up as a commander, 
but rather just some sort of token model, which I do not want. I want him to be a commander, and I want every droid player ever to be fielding him en masse with B1 battle droids in a failed invasion attempt. But getting further down the wish list, we have one of my uh, head cannon units. And what I really want to see, and I've seen other people talk about this, I want to see a generic Jedi unit for the Republic faction. And there's really a lot of ways that can be implemented. But most importantly here, regardless of what slot it takes, be it operative, special forces, unit personnel, I want to see it represent the Guardian, Consular, and Sentinel types of Jedi. And for those of you who aren't familiar with those concepts, the Guardian is basically the warrior, the Consular is basically the force slash mage support unit, and the Sentinel is sort of a cross between the two. But I would love to see a $20 upgrade kit that comes with four Jedi Knight models, maybe some of the less obscure Jedis that you do still see in the prequel films, maybe like that dinosaur guy who gets shot off the balcony in episode two. But I want to see them show up in a box set with maybe four. And I want to see a unit card that can be used maybe as special forces. And then three personnel upgrade cards that can either be attached to that special forces card or used in other clone units as a sort of squad leader as we see them leading squads in many points of the Clone Wars. And again, those three upgrade Jedis would be Guardian, Consular, or Sentinel. The Jedi Knight unit itself would have a good amount of wounds, maybe just white defense dice, but also have a decent amount of wounds, surge for defense, an upgrade slot for force powers, and then also a solid amount of offense dice. The Guardian unit upgrade would of course increase the offense dice, maybe add a deflect ability, while the Consular would add Master of the Force and an additional force slot. The Sentinel, which is supposed to be a mesh of the two, is where things start to get really interesting. And I think the Sentinel could be more of the rogue type represented in Legion. I would really like to see a sort of infiltrate ability used by the Sentinel, especially considering how many times you see Jedi sneaking into locations in the prequel trilogy. I think it would be very fitting, and maybe another keyword like nimble added in there would be very fitting for the Sentinel. Now I know what I just laid out there doesn't work exactly with standard units like Echo and Fives potentially will, but I think there's a way to make it work, and I think it could be very, very fun if FFG gets creative with making a Jedi unit like this. But of course they wouldn't be cheap, and I think you would only see one showing up per game. But from a hobbying standpoint, I think it's a great way to get those lesser known Jedis represented on the tabletop. And I think people would be upset if I said this is where characters like Luminera or Kit Fisto are going to show up in. But guys, it's better to have them here than not have them represented at all. But after that sort of headcanon unit, uh, let's go ahead and look at some more hipster things that I do really want to see. Uh, first is I want to see a downed ATT as a sort of terrain piece. Now, I know a lot of people have speculated ATAT -AT and ATTE -AT coming as units, but I think FFG kind of dug themselves into a hole with that whole forward facing directional base mechanic. And I really think they pushed the boundaries of that with the AAT and the Saber tanks alone. And if they do want to bring things like walkers into the game of that scale, they're really going to have to rethink how it's done. Maybe having the notch and the. Uh, fire arcs be a sort of ambient part of the foot of the walker, but I just don't see it happening anytime soon. However, the ATTE I think is small enough to fit on most terrain boards, and I think they could make a very cool terrain piece out of a crashed ATTE that would not only fit in the Clone Wars era, but also in the Galactic Civil War. I think you can make this a cool kind of split in half terrain piece that covers a good chunk of line of sight blocking terrain and maybe even have some unique scenarios where things happen like uh, like one unit can take over the ATTE's main cannon and still fire it creating a sort of king of the hill situation. And while I know terrain pieces aren't popular I think this would be way way cooler than some of the things they put out in the past like the escape pod or the bunker. That being said, I have no issues with them making a functional ATTE unit. I just have no idea how that would go at the moment. 
and for the last unit that I really want to see for the prequel factions in Star Wars Legion, and this one is a deep, deep cut, I want to see the PK series worker droids. Now, I'm sure most of you don't know what this is, and I'll be honest, I wouldn't know what they were if I didn't just watch episode 1 recently and see them hiking around in the background of a few shots. They're very obscure and they don't show up in the other two prequel films. But to sum these little buggers up, you see them hiking around, they're a bit like the pip droids where you see them just sort of doing maintenance routines in the background, but you do also see them collecting B1 battle droid bodies in the end of the battle for Naboo where they have defeated the Gungans. And they seem like sort of the worker ants to the hive mind of the colony. And I could see these guys being a cool little repair support unit for the droids. And introduce a new repair mechanic to the droid faction that makes B1 sort of operate like a zombie unit somewhat akin to Necrons. Where they are cheap, they are flimsy, they're easy to kill, but they will continually regenerate. It's a flavor you continuously see occur in horde armies and all wargaming, like Tyranid spawning pools and things of the sort, and I think it would be very cool to have that mechanic go on in Legion also. And personally, I think these PK series worker droids are the ones to give it to them. But what do you guys think? Have I missed anything? I'm definitely not a big Clone Wars watcher, so I'm sure there's more units from that that are going to pop up. I mean, if characters like Sabine Wren have showed up from Rebels, then I guess anything is really viable, and I'm welcome to new units regardless of what their original source of media was. I'm sure plenty of people wish I said Ahsoka, I'm not familiar with Ahsoka as a character, but how do you think she would be represented in Legion? Leave a comment below, let me know what else you want to see in this game, especially from the prequel factions. Like, subscribe, do all those things if you wish, I'm sure you know the routine by now. But until next time guys, as always, take care.